So I know that many of us have gotten to that point in our lives where we're like, there has to be something wrong with me. I get tired dealing with people. I avoid them. I get overwhelmed with all these conversations I'm supposed to have and this and that and so on. There just has to be something wrong with me. Well, in her book, Introvert Power by Dr. Laurie Helgo, she goes to great lengths to explain, nope, if that's the way you feel, it's actually completely normal because guess what? You're an introvert. And you might feel like a tiny minority, but you aren't. Surprise, 50% of the population is introverted and has the same stimulus response that you do. Well, I got some great validation out of reading this book, and I will be the first to tell you, when it comes to self-help books, I'm like a zero out of 10 interest level. I do not read them. And to be fair, it's really not self-help. It's more like self-research. So I got this because I framed it more as research about myself. And I certainly reap the benefit of the modest price by reading this book. You read her reviews on Amazon and a lot of people are talking about how eye-opening it is to hear their personality explained to them and comforting to know that many other people feel the same way. Well, she explains in detail how most, but not all, global culture skews extroverted. So all sorts of extroverted facets dominate our lives. I mean, think about the cringe-inducing popularity of reality TV and social media and influencers and things like that, where people are constantly shouting and clawing for attention. Such things completely overwhelm me and they repel me away, and that's perfectly okay. I relish reading her research on the few introvert skewed cultures like Japan and Scandinavian countries when it finally clicked why I've always been obsessed with the quote unquote oddity of Japan, because that culture speaks to me. It beckons me in a way that louder, obnoxious cultures can't. Now let me say this book is written well and studied and it's still popular level, but kind of a higher shelf kind of read. I never felt bored or traumatized by excessive footnotes, which can dominate nonfiction research books sometimes. So, so don't feel turned off by that because you're not going to find it. But I do really recommend people to start here if you've never read anything about your introverted personality. As opposed to your extroverted peers, you might have never opened up to anyone, so getting to hear your side of the story is truly enriching. You'll feel like you have a friend, someone who understands you, which you should, after all, if Dr. Helgo is any good at being a psychologist. Well, I thank her for the fantastic book and helping spread the word about us introverts, and I hope you enjoy it as well.